Good morning, folks. The volcanic upticks continue. We've had sun diving comets. We've got new science and a look at why the tsunami warnings failed in Indonesia a week ago. Let's get started with spaceweathernews.com. Finding the last 24 hours on our star were exceptionally calm. Large filament heads for the limb. Large coronal hole crosses center longitudes. Another coronal hole is visible incoming from the left. We have no significant sunspots on the disk, even the departing umbral fields don't have significant spots beneath them. The solar wind is doing its impression of the sun itself right now. Total dropout of the stream to ambient plasma field flows, but the variable interplanetary fields indicated by the blue still have managed to get the KP index up off the floor in spite of the silent solar wind. The geomagnetic activity is about to get more intense when the stream from this coronal hole arrives. Focus has been on the lithosphere with Earth magnetically connecting to this coronal hole 36 hours ago. But thus far, the earthquakes have yielded to volcanic activity. Add on to yesterday's report, the Kikum Jenny submarine volcano in the eastern Caribbean. Definitively a 72-hour increase in the reports of eruptive and sublithospheric increases at the volcanoes. Let's peek back late on October 3rd when a filament stealthily broke away from the northeastern limb of our star and produced a nice-looking CME visible on Soho Lasco cameras. These are always looking from Earth's line of sight, so the eruption is going to miss us. But towards the end of the sequence, two sun-diving comets following a Kreutz family path into plasmification, both bodies failed to survive their final charge at the star. Let's go to the Arctic. Three key northern communities relying on an annual supply barge to get them through the winter are in a bit of panic mode. The mission was canceled due to there being too much ice for a safe passage. Up next, NASA has refined their deep solar system model of space weather, CME shockwaves of them anyway, for those who caught last night's second video on the interplanetary magnetic fields that arch connecting planets to sun, those fields indeed end up curving more, farther out you get, until they basically form a concentrically growing ring-like coil that wraps around the solar system rather than just streams away from the sun. In the cosmic web realm, a team of big names in the universal science field is predicting that strong structures of ionized oxygen and neon exist in cosmic filaments and that they have gone completely undetected. Now while that should invoke that they are hitherto covert matter, the world of dark matter officially has a mainstream ultimatum. If at the end of the three-year plan confirmation of the great Planck conflict of there being too few galaxy clusters that we see, there is still no dark matter or dark energy source, and if there are other problems with the Lambda model that are not rectified, some highly influential field leaders will be calling for a change in the official paradigm. This is, of course, big news, and best of all, it's based on observations of the real universe, not models or simulations. Last up here, should be a moment of tempered excitement for everyone who heard last week's podcast. The hypothesis of why the tsunami warning system failed has a ton of evidence for it now. Of course, excitement is tempered by the death toll, which is well over a thousand, with over a thousand still missing. In seeing the official sentinel land motions both in the east-west and north-south directions, it is clear this was no thrust, but a shift in the entire island that would have created water force at two critical places near the devastated region. I have highlighted them here separately, along with a direction of push into that pocket where Palu sat defenseless against the waves. We'll discuss this, along with more of this week's major news stories on our members' podcast, coming up at suspiciousobservers.org in just a few hours. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.